In Submodule 3.2, we will look into accountancy and bookkeeping. During this submodule, we will discuss the differences between accountancy and bookkeeping and why they are important for the management of your NGO. We will then mention the principles of single and double entry bookkeeping, and we will try to clear up the confusion around the two little words debit and credit. Lastly, we will briefly look into the balance sheet and profit and loss statement. This submodule alone will not make you a bookkeeper or an accountant. Instead, it will provide you with a short introduction to bookkeeping and accountancy and to the terminology that you will come across when working with your accountant and bookkeeper. During the module, you will learn that bookkeeping is the process of recording financial transactions, whereas accounting is the process of interpreting, classifying, analyzing, reporting, and summarizing financial data. Bookkeeping is meant not only to satisfy demand from the authorities, but it is also an important tool for the management of your NGO. Single entry bookkeeping is a simple form of registration of what goes in and out of your NGO. Double entry bookkeeping is an equation between the money you hold on one hand and where that money comes from on the other hand. Your accounts consist of a balance sheet and a P&L statement, which help you track the money your NGO has, how they're financed, and how they change in a given time period. The two words bookkeeping and accountancy are often used to refer to the same thing. While they are two sides of the same coin, there are some differences. In the simplest terms, bookkeeping can be done without accountancy, but it is impossible to do accountancy without a proper record of data, meaning bookkeeping. Why bookkeeping and accountancy? Most organizations consider bookkeeping and accountancy as a necessary evil that has to be done to satisfy demands from authorities and donors. Bookkeeping and accountancy are, however, an important tool for you to understand and further develop your organization, and they can help you plan your budget, avoid cash flow issues, identify crucial income streams, identify critical spendings, cut expenses, or increase income. Many organizations choose to hire an external accountant. This can be a very good choice that can save you a lot of headaches and money. It is, however, important that the bookkeeping doesn't become a black box for the management, but rather an important instrument for decision making. The economy and finances of your NGO are still your responsibility, and you should be able to understand and use the results produced by your accountant. The simplest form of bookkeeping is called single entry bookkeeping. It is a form of registration of what goes in and out from your NGO, and it is very similar to keeping your own personal checkbook. Let us have a look at an example. Different entries are recorded as either negative or positive amounts, that is, income and expenses. Single entry bookkeeping is characterized by the fact that only one entry is made for each transaction. As you can probably imagine, it will quickly become difficult to overview how you got the money and how you spent them. What is more, single entry bookkeeping makes it difficult to track your assets and liabilities, and it can become even more complicated if you have different holdings for your money, such as different bank accounts or a cash box. Therefore, most NGOs probably use double entry bookkeeping. The basis of double entry bookkeeping is an equation between the money you hold on one hand and where that money comes from on the other. If you own 200 euros and you have 200 euros in the bank account, the scale is in balance. If you then use 100 euros for buying pizza for your team, your bank account will decrease by 100 euros, but the consumption will increase with 100 euros. This part of your accounts is called the balance sheet. It is important to keep track of not only how much money you have, but also how you got them or how you spent them. Your accounts will therefore consist of two parts, the balance and the profit and loss statement. The balance is an equation between the money you hold and how they're financed, whereas the profit and loss statement is the explanation of how your capital is increasing or decreasing. The profit and loss statement is divided into accounts that describe the nature of the income or costs. When bookkeeping an expense, you will therefore not only know whether your capital increases or decreases, 
but you will also be able to look back and overview what has made your capital change. When, for example, you get 10 euros on your bank account, you will make sure to bookkeep this in the profit and loss statement. Debit and credit. People who are having their first contact with double entry bookkeeping often give up on learning it because of the two small words that we already used here debit and credit. It doesn't have to be so difficult. The basic idea again is that double entry bookkeeping is an equation. Every time a debit entry is made, a credit entry must be made as well. This will allow you to monitor your entries and make sure that you have not made any mistakes. The only challenging part is to remember when you should debit and when you should credit an account. A debit is an amount of money paid from an account that results in the increase of an asset or a decrease in a liability or owner's equity on the balance sheet. And credit is an amount of money that increases liability, revenue or equity accounts and decreases asset or expense accounts. Let us look at an example from before. You get 10 euros in your bank account. You will register them as debit. Now you will have to make a second entry as credit. In this case, we credit the account for membership contribution in profit and loss statement. Accountancy is the measurement, processing and communication of financial and non-financial information about economic entities, such as your NGO accounting which has been called the language of business. It measures the results of an organization's economic activities and conveys this information to a variety of users, including members, donors, creditors, management, and regulators. As we have already discussed, the accounts consist of two parts, balance sheet and profit and loss statement. In the daily bookkeeping, the profit and loss sheet is considered as separate from the balance. Only at the end of the year, the result is taken from the profit and loss and added into the balance. Let's have a closer look at the balance sheet and the profit and loss statement. The balance sheet is a financial statement that records, on the one hand, your NGO's assets, and on the other side, how they are financed. On the debit side of the balance sheet, you have listed all the assets of your NGO. This can be money you have in the bank, money you have in cash, value of property or inventory, or it can be money that someone owes you, e.g. final rate from donors. An asset can also be a prepayment for a cost that will occur in the coming year. On the credit side, you have listed how those assets are financed. Basically, they can be financed in two ways. Money that your NGO owns, this is called equity, and includes the savings or profits of your NGO from the previous years, but also the startup capital or guaranteed capital that was paid in when you opened the NGO. Finally, the equity also includes the profit and loss from this current year. Your assets can also be financed by loaned money. This is called liability and could include bank credits, debts to board members, unpaid invoices, or money that you know you will have to pay back to, e.g. donors. The Profit and Loss P&L statement is a financial statement that summarizes the revenues, costs, and expenses incurred during a specific period, usually a fiscal quarter or year. A non-profit entity issues a somewhat different set of financial statements than the statements issued by a for-profit entity. In some organizations, the P&L statement is called a statement of operations, statement of financial position, statement of cash flows, or statement of functional expenses. The P&L statement consists of a set of financial accounts to categorize different incomes and expenses. In some companies, the bookkeeper can, by own initiative, add or take out accounts so it is tailored to your NGO. In other countries, the national legislation provides a set account plan that should be used. A P&L statement could have accounts as membership contributors, sale of coffee or project support, to break down the sources of revenues and accounts like office rent, IT equipment, phone expenses, travel, etc. to categorize your expenses. To conclude this submodule, let us summarize the lessons learnt. Bookkeeping is the process of recording financial transactions, whereas accounting is the process of interpreting, classifying, analyzing, reporting, and summarizing financial data.
bookkeeping and accountancy are meant to not only satisfy demand from the authorities, but it is also an important tool for the management of your NGO. Single entry bookkeeping is a simple form of registration of what goes in and out of your NGO. Double entry bookkeeping is an equation between the money you hold on one hand and where that money comes from on the other hand. Your account consists of a balance sheet and a P&L statement, which help you track the money your NGO has, how they're financed, and how they change in a given time period.